Bam! Three minutes and the truth, y'all. Hey y'all, my name is Brent Baxter. I'm a pro songwriter with cuts by these folks and others, and I help songwriters like you turn pro by teaching you how to write like a pro, do business like a pro, and on a regular basis, I help connect you to the pros through my website at songwritingpro.com. Today, I want to talk about the truth about writing with the artist. That's something that I've been blessed to be able to do a few times in my career, uh, write with an artist that has a record deal that's writing for their record. And really, this applies to you whether you're writing with an artist that has the big record deal, has a string of hits, or a brand new artist that doesn't have hits yet, or someone that doesn't even have the deal yet, but they're still, you know, the world we live in, they're putting stuff out on Spotify, Apple Music, all that good stuff. They're just putting stuff into the world. This really applies to them. A couple things I want to talk about because we only have three minutes is, one, writing with the artist is not a magic bullet. Um, for one thing, writing with an artist doesn't mean they're going to become like an artist, all right? So you got to make sure just because they say they're a singer, that they have the work ethic, that they are building relationships, that they're going about things in a professional way. Just because they say they're an artist and they might be good looking doesn't mean they're going to be a wagon you want to hit your star to or you hit your star to hitch a wagon to their star, whatever. You know what I'm talking about. So that's the first thing. Second thing is writing with the artist is not a magic bullet. They are writing with other people most likely, right? Especially if the higher up the ladder they are, they're writing with other people. So don't get complacent just thinking, I'm in the camp, I'm writing with this artist, it's all good. They're writing with the other people that are also probably pros that are bringing their best stuff and really preparing for those co-writes and are bringing their best stuff. Don't get lazy. Don't think that just because you write with them that you're entitled to a cut because you are not. You have to write great songs with them, not just songs with them, right? So you want to do that. You want to make sure you're really studying up on them and bringing the best stuff. Lastly, you are in the service business, all right? If you're writing with an artist, you are writing for their record. You're coming in. You need to come in with an attitude of service. You're going, how can I help you? What do you need? What can I help provide for you? What's going on in your life? It's great. You want to be prepared, come in with song ideas, that sort of thing. But ultimately, you want to write something that they relate to, that means something to them, that's going to help them get where they want to go. So don't, just because you, you, know, you may have an idea that you think is a great song idea, doesn't mean you need to write that with them on that day because if they're not attached to it, if they're not vibing with it, if it's not something that speaks to them personally, it may just end up being a good song and not something that they record. So you want to be mindful of that. And and also saying things how they'd say it. I remember um, my buddy Ruthie Collins, she's on Curb Records. And I was writing with her years ago and we were writing this thing and, and I was kind of going back and forth. Should we say this in the bridge? Should we not do this? And she finally looked at me and said, you know what? We don't have to wonder if an artist would say it because I would say it. I was like, oh yeah, I'm writing with the artist. You know, so that's a lesson going, what will they say? And ask that question a lot. Is this how you would say it? Is this how you would, how would you say this? You know, is this fit with you? Is this something you believe? How would you say this? Because it's got to be their voice because you literally want them to be the voice for that song and that lyric. And so you're serving them to help them get attached to it, to say it how they would say it. And then they have a better chance of actually singing it. My name is Brent Baxter. This has been Three Minutes in the Truth. If this has been helpful for you, I would appreciate a subscribe and a share. God bless. Bye.